I was promoted to software security engineer. I will be at my current maximum happiness for the rest of my life. I wanted to go over some tips that I feel could help some of you out there struggling to find attention with your boss or even the attention of a hiring manager. Because if there's one thing that I know very well, it's not getting noticed. Now, I've only been here for two months. I know, impressive. At least my boss thinks so. Pretty sure he does. Maybe he just thinks I'm the least worst option. Nah, I must be a genius and he can tell. Anyway, before I get into tips, if any of you are curious what type of work I'll be doing in this glorious promotion, I'll very briefly go over it. So I've been given the opportunity to create, tune, and otherwise entirely code security rules that our software uses to find IOCs, indicators of compromise. I know, I know. I'm sure all of you are salivating at the thought of getting this type of experience. The rules are written in a very specific language that we use in our software, which I unfortunately can't tell you exactly what we're using. Honestly, it doesn't really matter which one it is. Because if you know a few languages, then you know them all. It's all about just learning syntax. Fortunately, the coding I'll be doing is very simple compared to some of the coding projects that I've done in the past. The general idea is our software and just a metric crap ton of data from roughly 20 sources that gets parsed by an integration built into our software that allows us then to create rules and conditions that dig up very specific values inside the massive dump of data that we have. If it does contain an IOC, we sick them to the security dogs to sniff out the bad guys. Now, if I can get this project done, I'm going to have invaluable experience to be able to put on my resume that is a golden ticket to Willy Wonka's house of cash. But how did I get this project? But more importantly, how can you land a promotion at your job? Why won't my boss notice me? Well, the chances of a promotion, I think, come down to three things. First, does your company have growth opportunity to begin with? If you work at a company that isn't interested in growing and promoting their employees from within the company, then this is your biggest barrier. Get out now. Evaluating whether there's growth opportunity in the company is pretty obvious. When was the last time somebody got promoted? Was it an actual jump in work responsibility? Or was it just like a name change? Are there senior positions versus non-senior positions? Something you can strive to get to? Are there opportunities that you can pick up? Projects that can challenge you? Stuff like that. I think there's an incorrect mindset that is developing out of our current society revolving around work. And I'm sure many of you have heard it before. It's the elephant in the room, quiet quitting. That leads me to my second point. Don't do the bare minimum. Now I know, I know what you're thinking. Pay me more if you want me to do more. Bear with me. You should not just go to work with the mindset of doing work that you're capable of doing and nothing else. But use your job as an opportunity to gain experience and learn as much as you can and think of it more as what can my job provide me in the long run? Are there promotions? Are there projects for learning? Are there tools that I can get my hands on and do on the side when I have downtime? Or is this job just providing money for you with teeny tiny pay increases at the end of the year? If that last one is good enough for you, then you could stop watching because this isn't for you. <laughs> but if you wanna maximize your potential in the position you're in now or a future position that you're trying to get, then you need to change your mindset. If I'm doing the bare minimum at work and it's stuff that I'm comfortable doing, then my potential is limited to the work that I'm allowing myself to do. If it's work I'm qualified to do when I applied to the job to begin with, then what am I doing other than gaining a regular paycheck? By continuing to do work that I already know how to do. It's like a for loop of failure and you get nothing out of the experience other than money. You need to think, to the future. Now I know I get the mentality behind quiet quitting in a job where you stand no chance of having an actual career in there. But even in those jobs, you're not gonna get a promotion if there is one, if you aren't substantially better at the job than everybody else who's doing the exact same job you're doing. So in those cases, you really need to evaluate whether or not there's growth opportunity in the company, which brings us back to the first point. Lastly, is to be confident in your abilities. One of the primary reasons I got chosen for this project is because I showed no doubt when my boss came up to me and asked me, are you interested in doing this project? But don't get me wrong. I spend every waking moment of my day quietly crying like the rest of you, wondering if I'm gonna get fired. So don't let my false confidence fool you. I'm the most pessimistic person you can find. But as I said in my last video, I'm good at security, though I'm good at lying. If you're not confident in your own abilities to tackle a task, project, job, what have you, it's gonna be abundantly clear to your boss that you lack the mental fortitude to do amazing things worthy of honor and power. You alone can claim the throne. All right, you get the idea. But Mad Hat, you just got lucky. Hold on, I've never been fired from a job. My first job was working retail as a cashier in the dark ages. Ugh. I got promoted to customer service pretty quick. It was about six months in, just by being better and more capable than the other cashiers around me. And customer service was kind of like the cool kids club. And at my last help desk position, I got promoted to L2 from L1 by applying this mindset 
but the work was terrible and I hated it, so I got out of there as fast as possible. And now my current job, I've been given the opportunity to learn a universally known threat hunting coding that will give me endless value in any future job that I pursue. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did I leave out any important factors when it comes to landing that promotion? The sky is the limit in the tech field. So if you want to go to the moon, then nobody is going to build the spaceship for you but you. So get building. So go confidently be better than your fellow employees. Land that promotion and tell us all about it. I'm confident in your ability to be confident. Stop saying no to your potential. So anyways, I hope this helped some of you give up on the notion of quiet quitting at a job you might find actually has room for growth and more value than you thought. If it did help, consider donating a like and comment down below. It helps me cry less at night. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.